In this video, we're going to talk about thumb screws and thumb nuts. Thumb screws are very similar to normal screws in that they come with the same uh, machine screw threads and pitches. So thread sizes and pitches, you know, 440, 832, 1032, quarter 20, etc., etc., uh, and metric sizes as well, M3, M5, M10, etc. Uh, the difference is instead of using some kind of a tool like a, a driver, an Allen key or a Phillips head screwdriver, uh, to install these thumb screws, you, you use your fingers, your thumb and your forefinger. Um, and uh, in order to facilitate that, thumb screws come with larger heads that have some uh, grippy texture on them. They're often knurled. Um, or uh, this this scalloped style of, of head here. You can see that there are different head sizes. Uh, some of these are, are just metal. The entire uh, thumb screw is made out of a single metal part. Others have a metal stud like this one with a plastic uh, head. One thing to keep in mind is that uh, the, the larger the diameter of your head, the easier it will be to screw that in, or the more the more torque you'll you'll have to screw that in. So that's something that to, to keep in mind. If you need to screw this in really really tight, you might want to look for a larger head diameter. And if it's uh, doesn't need to be so snug, then you might be able to get away with a smaller diameter. Um, the next one is thumb nuts. So very similar to thumb screws in that you use your fingers to tighten these nuts. Um, similar to a regular nut, they have your typical machine threads on the inside, and then there is a knurled or somehow textured surface on the outside that you use uh, to grip your fingers. And, uh, and then you just rotate them with your fingers. Um, you know, a wing nut, uh, I guess, would be a, a style of, of uh, thumb nut. Um, the wing nut is a little bit different in, in that you're more using uh, a mechanical feature, the, the wings of that nut, to turn it into place as opposed to just the, the grippy texture, the knurled surface of um, the, uh, the thumb nuts that are shown up on top. Uh, so these can be used in any application you want. Um, they're just really useful for when you know, applications in which you don't want the user to, uh, to have to use some kind of a tool. Uh, but uh, just allowing that user to, to just use, you know, the, the tool that's attached to his body, his fingers, to, uh, to remove or, or tighten these pieces of hardware. Here's an example of using thumb screws. You can see them uh, right here and right here. And these surfaces, these textured surfaces, this is called a knurl. And you'll often see a knurled surface on thumb screws and thumb nuts because it provides a, a nice textured surface for your fingers to grip as they tighten or untighten the fastener. In this example, the, uh, we have this uh, what's called a toggle clamp. Um, I'm not sure it's set up to move right now. Now the motion's not set up, but um, uh, this will move uh, uh, up and down and there's a little uh, a rubber bumper over here these toggle clamps are used for a, a variety of different applications. We're not really going to get into those right now because there will be a separate lesson talking about toggle clamps. But um, it is uh, these toggle clamps come with a threaded bumper. You can see this long threaded stud in there that uh, goes through this, this little cradle feature in the toggle clamp. And that that bumper, the position of that bumper, and the relative height of that bumper is locked into place using nuts. Now, typically, these these um, toggle clamps come with just standard thin jam nuts, um, just like a normal nut that you would buy at uh, you know Ace Hardware or Home Depot or something like that. And they're they're small and they require a wrench to tighten them or loosen them. And uh, it, it works, you know, functionally, it's fine, but it's kind of a pain to have to go in there with uh, a tool, uh, one on top and one on bottom. And the, the spaces are, are kind of tight, you know, this, I think this is like a, I don't know, three quarter inch diameter thumb nut or something like that. Uh, so it can be kind of 
to, uh, and, and if it was a, a normal jam nut, it might be, you know, half an inch or three-eighths of an inch or something pretty small. So they're kind of tight spaces and it can be cumbersome to go in there with a, a wrench, a couple wrenches, and loosen these or, or tighten the jam nuts. So instead, what we did here, uh, which was kind of a, an innovative approach, is we put two, uh, two thumb nuts here instead. So now uh, the diameter is a lot bigger and it becomes much easier to just use your fingers to tighten these or untighten these. Uh, this is the first time we had tried it and it worked out really well and was just a great application, a great example of how to incorporate uh, thumb nuts into a design. If you found this content helpful, consider enrolling in our signature program at mypipelineacademy.com. Whether you're an individual interested in beginning a new career as a mechanical designer or a company interested in training your new engineering hires, our signature program helps students develop the practical skills they need to be productive mechanical design engineers. Seating is limited. We hope to see you there soon.